Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Wait for my lighting to adjust here. How are you guys? My name is Shelly. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today I am bringing you guys another dupe video. Sea Color Cosmetics is a, is a brand that I know pretty well. I've tried not every single release they've had, but the vast majority of them. And you will find that I've done a number of dupe videos using Sea Color Cosmetics. And the most recent one I did was a duping Natasha on a glam palette. Alter Ego did a, a dupe of it like a fat minute ago when I got the, when I saw that they had released, I think they had released five new palettes. I bought three of them. One, I did not have the original dupe for. It's the Sublime palette, which is a dupe for Too Faced Femme. Today we are duping, we're going to try to dupe. I haven't actually even looked at this yet. We're going to dupe Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. This is probably my absolute favorite Huda palette. That's what it looks like. With the Sea Color Cosmetics, they came out with one called Crystal Pink. Rose Quartz, Crystal Pink. See where they're going there? They're pushing some lines on this, you guys. I did notice that with the Glamorous palette that it was, um, they named even the shades the same thing. So let's see this. Major difference in the, in the component itself. This is a super lightweight, clear case. This is a nice, heavy, thick plastic one. On the, um, on the Sea Color Cosmetics side, I can try this one this up. There is no mirror, obviously. On the Huda side, you've got a big, nice, gorgeous, generous mirror that's stamped Huda Beauty on it. And when I look at these two right next to each other, they are laid out exactly the same. All the shades are in exactly the same place. The main difference I'm seeing initially is this shade on the Huda side, it looks like it has more blue. This one seems like it has more orange in it. However, because I haven't used this one, we'll have to see what it looks like after I get my fingers into it, if I do. Shade names are different. We've got Quartz compared to Quality. Aura is the same as uh, Meditation. Gratitude is Pure. Cosmic Love on the Huda side is Dreamy on the C Color Cosmetics side, so on and so forth. I'm kind of feeling like I want to dig into this pink shade because that might be the hardest one to formulate and it's the like my least favorite shade in, in the whole palette. So let me, uh, I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to put all of the Huda on one side and all of the C color on the other. I'm going to use the same brush in between. I do have the Natasha Donna Eye Base on both eyelids right now. I'm going to color switch my brushes in between dipping them into each of the palettes. Uh, I will try to remember to tell you that I'm doing that so that you guys don't think I'm, you know, cross contaminating them. But we're going to start with the Huda shade and I'm going to start with this shade right here called Happiness. And I've got a little bit kind of a bigger brush than I need to. A little bit of kick up, but not a ton. I'm gonna put that over the majority of my lid and up into my crease. Now, this is about the time you say, hey, Shell, you don't usually wear pastel eyeshadows. I don't, but we're gonna cover up the majority of it anyway. So I'm putting this uh, really all over my lid. Uh, I do enjoy the Huda quality, and I love these plastic components way more than her cardboard ones. So glad she kind of got away from it. I hope she always stays that way because you're paying the money for it. I kind of want it to be like a luxurious experience. Cleaning off my brush right now and I'm going into Self Love on C Color Cosmetics side. Yeah, this palette feels so light and a ton of kick up. I was going to try to like actually look at this one, but there's no mirror. So I have to look in my other one that's a little bit further away. I could just stay using the Huda mirror. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? So I've gone in twice on the C Color Cosmetics side and a few times on the Huda side and they seem very similar. I feel like the C Color one just in general tends to be a little, a little bit more softer of a shade. And on the Huda one, I mean, it's a, it's a soft shade, but I think it builds up a little bit easier, just quality wise. But when I look at the actual shades on my eyes, I'm not seeing a huge difference right now. Okay, let's grab a different brush and we're gonna go into, I think I'm gonna go into this, the darkest shade down here called Bonding. Lots and lots of kick up. And this is on the C Color Cosmetics side. So even despite all that kick up, it's a very, very subtle shade. This, I just, a lot of the extra kick up, which is probably going to give me some transfer down below, fallout underneath my eye. That happened quite a bit. I'm trying to keep it down low enough where you get that a little tiny bit of that pink peeking through. I think I kind of lost it a little bit out here. So I just picked up a little tiny bit more on that same brush I used initially, blending it out at the top of that. Hmm. Okay, cleaning up my brush, switching over to the Huda side. We're going to go into, I like the fact that they put them in the same place. We're going into Mantra down here on the Huda side. Yeah, in my 
my mirror when I'm looking at a little bit closer, the Huda side seems a little bit more vibrant, but the shades are very, very similar. I think that despite being a little bit more impactful on the Huda side, I think they do sheer out beautifully so I can get the same look as I got on this. At least that's quite new. Yeah, both sides, they really blended well together. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my brush and going back into happiness on the Huda side, show that they match. Very similar. Very similar indeed. One of my favorite shades in this palette is the one in the middle um, called Cosmic Love. It's this one right here. And it's like a duochrome, triochrome kind of a situation. It's very marbled the first time you get this palette. And I'm taking it over probably the latter two thirds of my eye. This has such a beautiful like blue, purple, iridescent look to it very very lovely okay so now we're going to mess up the marbling on the scene color cosmetic side haven't used this one yet and when i mix them together they seem to be very similar this one almost seems like it's a little bit more creamy like it's a cream shadow maybe a cream to powder shadow let me get a little switch back to this mirror here so i can see what i'm doing um yeah it felt initially like it was a little bit more of a creamy shade on the sea color cosmetic side like it is a cream shadow close but not exact i have a little bit of overzealousness here on my huda side okay going back into the huda side picking up a little bit more of that i want to really yeah i'm getting a ton of fallout on the huda side not like a ton but there's definitely more like loose loose glitter let me swatch these really fast for you so this is on the Huda side. I feel like the glitter particles are a lot bigger. And then I'm gonna go to the C Color Cosmetics side with a clean finger a little bit. And it just slides so much easier. So my, this is the C Color side over here and this is the Huda side. And the C Color side, the, the shades are very, very similar. They look darn near similar in the mirror. Darn near is the same thing. I just feel like the consistency on the C Color side was a lot smoother. It was very, just like I said, slick. Like, like it's mixed with some sort of, I don't want to say emollient type bonding agent, but there's, there's something in it. There's getting a little bit more of a damp feel. I don't know how to describe it. You guys, I'm sorry. I suck at these things. I appreciate you guys hanging around with me trying to figure out if this stuff is similar enough. The shade here called Joy on the Huda side, which again is one of the shades I don't use. And it has a very similar kind of chunkiness that Cosmic Love did, which means to say that being kind of a chunky formula, I'm getting a little bit of fluttering. Okay, cleaning off that brush and going into the C Color Cosmetic side over here. The shade is called Rose. It's either Rose or Rose, but it was Joy on the um, Huda side. That seems like it's actually a very similar consistency and not at all as pigmented. I'm gonna pick up here. Okay, picking up a little got me closer. Okay, those are very, very similar. Very similar in tone. They're not like exact dupes, but they're really, really, really close. Some of these shades that I wanna use, they just seem like they're too, too light. I think I'm gonna go into this little warmer shade down here called Meditation, and I'm gonna use that on the C color side. I've been mixing more warm shades and cool tones lately, just for something fun and a little bit more unexpected. Okay, and while I'm on that side, I'm gonna go into Blushing, which is this shade right here. I just cleaned the same brush off, and I'm gonna pick up a little blushing in the inner side, and we're just going to kind of buff out that lower lash where I had that meditation. And because that pink is such a cool color, that should minimize some of the warmth, but still get a little bit of it in there. Okay, not not horrible. Let me clean that brush off and back over to the Huda side. So we're gonna go into Aura over here, which if I recall is one of my favorite shades in this whole palette. That into the lash line and then cleaning off the brush and going into Cherished, which is this light, light pink right here. And we'll Cherished down here just to kind of soften that up. That shade is very pigmented on the Huda side. It's pretty pigmented on the C color side. I'm gonna be honest here. I think that's all I wanna do as far as these shades go. I didn't use every shade in this palette. I used quite a number of them and I have this like pinky purple kind of look on here right now. Do I wanna put on a liner? I, you know what, I almost feel like I want a liquid liner. Do I have one? Yeah, I've got a little black liquid liner here. Let me throw some of on really fast. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I used a mascara that I'm not in love with. It's not the same one that I'm not in love with that I used before, but it's one that's I'm similarly not in love with. It's just kind of a chunky mess. I've been trying some different like budget-friendly mascaras. I just dropped my Q-tip that I wanted to use here. Um, been trying some budget-friendly ones and I'm just not as pleased with them. Okay, now let me tell you guys something as I'm looking in the mirror here. Shade-wise, they're very, very, very similar. The flaky mascara that I've got. Shade-wise, very similar. 
very pretty, blendable. This is the C Color Cosmetic side, and it's okay. This side over here is the Huda side, and I'm gonna say that that iridescent shade that I used, Cosmic Love, the shade right here that I said was one of my favorites, it is like a dusty, sparkly mess. On the C Color Cosmetic side, it felt like it was a lot, it had a different agent that was keeping it together, but I have those same like bluish purple sparkles all the way down here. That's a lot to have to try to clean up. I think mascara under my eye, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my cotton rim with a little micellar water to see if I can pick up some of that glitter. I should have been smart enough to do my eyeshadow first, but I didn't think that it would do that much, especially not on the Huda side. So a lot of fallout, just as an FYI. Okay, I'm not gonna fix my blush right now, because, well maybe, I guess I can't fix my blush as we're <laughs> finishing up this video here because I'd like to film something else while I'm somewhat made up. All right, you guys, there is my testing, duping, the C Color Cosmetics Crystal Pink and the Huda Beauty, Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. And if you were to see me walking down the street, I don't know that you would see the difference, except for maybe the glitter fallout on my cheeks. You might go, oh, let's get some fairy dust there, shall? Anyway, very pleased with the C Color Cosmetics. With that one shade being so similar, or so so much a better quality, I might have to say this is this is my my favorite one. Oh, okay. So I just tapped into that one weird shade that's like suspended eyeshadow in some sort of gel, and it's it's not a firm gel at all. The shade's pretty. It's kind of like a fuchsia. I gotta, I gotta clean this finger off here so I can try to switch it to the other one. And I'm gonna swatch the one on the Huda side just for fun. So they kind of melded together. I feel like this is a cooler shade. Yeah, this is so much of a firmer of a consistency. You really have to kind of warm it up in your hand a little bit. And then the shade is not at all the same. Yeah, those two are so not even the same. On the Huda side, it's a very effervescent, light, euphoric kind of color. It's called Love Stone, and I keep trying to build it up. It's a, it's still a, like a really thick, heavy, almost like a waxy petroleum jelly, if that makes sense, with some gray and light blue and, and violet reflex in it. On the C Color Cosmetics side, it's like a blob of gel that's very, very pliant with suspended particles in it. It must be the ones that I, when I rub my fingers in it and it kind of broke open the the particle, the balls of, of eyeshadow, I got the fuchsia one. I don't know. I don't know if that helps you guys at all. I kind of hope it does. I do really, really enjoy this palette. Again, this is one of my favorite, one of my top favorite Huda palettes and I've, I've really been appreciating the color story. I haven't been using it so much lately. So this was a good time for me to kind of, you know, compare it because I don't have that, oh, I use this on a regular basis. I know what to expect. So it gave me a little bit of separation in between using them and the, in, um, as we're doing this dupe video. And I think that gave me a little bit more of an impartial view on it. I mean, I know that I like the palette. I don't know, would I, would I be reaching for the C Color Cosmetics one? Definitely for travel. Although I don't know how this case, if this is so light and so lightweight. I don't know. I would have to put this in like some sort of protective sleeve and pack it really well in order for me to take this you know, on a trip. But the color story is really pretty. Definitely cool toned, heavily leaning towards pinks and the purples. Um, not just the shades that I use, but even the shades that are in here that are, you know, some of these are a little bit more on, well, these are definitely more cool toned. You have one shade. I think I use this in my lower lash line. that's a little bit warmer. The rest are very, very cool, cool in tone. And I, I don't mind the color story. I think it's actually really pretty. I don't normally do like pink and purple eyeshadow. It doesn't really go with the skirt I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna probably have to take it off. But anyway, um, wanted to let you guys know, I got this in, I got it tested. Let me know if you, how you guys feel about dupe videos. Again, the name is very similar but the actual shade names are all very different. So that actually is, that's an okay thing in my opinion. Um, it's not trying to be, it's giving a nod to it without being like full on plagiarizing, which I feel like they did with the Glamorous palette. It was a little too close to the Glam palette. Just my take on it. This, these are actually even kind of similar size wise. Whereas Glamorous and the Glamorous and Glam palette were completely different shapes. Um, one was like long and narrow and the other one was a little bit more, well, smaller and narrow, kind of like the Huda palette. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you guys consider sticking around if you like, especially if you like dupe videos. I don't do every dupe that comes out, but I do a lot of them. So if there's one that you want me to do, uh, just leave me a comment down below. Or if there's one you're asking about, I do have a dupe playlist. I'll try to remember to link it maybe in the description box. Otherwise, I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.